As Washington Tonight debates whether to bring back our federal terror alert system, the director of the FBI is asking all Americans to be alert. If you see something that doesn't make sense, you say something to somebody. We investigate in secret so that we don't smear innocent people. We don't run over and bang on your neighbor's door. If you say something, we investigate. If there was nothing there, no harm done. If there was something there, great harm may be avoided. Great idea in theory. But when a Texas student recently showed up to school with something that looked like a bomb and school officials said something, it turned into a national firestorm. They were criticized by no less than the White House, and they now face a massive lawsuit. Not to mention, we found out that they are being investigated by the Department of Justice. Brooke Goldstein is a human rights attorney and author of Lawfare, the War Against Free Speech. Brooke, good to see you. We had you. Director Comey sitting there telling us, if we see something, say something. Don't be hesitant. It doesn't hurt to have the FBI check it out. Next to his boss, the Attorney General Loretta Lynch, who the night before had said publicly the DOJ is now investigating the Texas school district that saw something and said something and in good faith was wrong. That, that's the belief, at least, about this so-called clock kid. Right. I mean, at, at the very least, uh, the government is sending mixed messages. They're saying, report to us if you see something that's suspicious. But if you do, and if the suspicious activity is being carried out by a Muslim, we are going to target you. We are going to investigate you. And the fact that we have the Attorney General of the United States one day after 14 Americans were massacred by radical Islamists going to a press conference, not sympathizing with the victims, not saying that we're going to investigate radicalization in our country, but announcing that she is going to go after a children's school district for reporting a bomb-like clock mm -hmm. is sending the wrong message and in saying a very explicitly, dangerous way. And saying explicitly, and during her remarks in front of this Muslim American group, that her greatest fear, her greatest fear is this type of anti-Muslim rhetoric and the potential for accompanying attacks. Uh, saying that this has been, she, she said there's been a very disturbing rise in anti-Muslim rhetoric uh, when she made that presentation the day after the terror attack. Well, I mean, this is the raison d'etre of the Obama administration to convince us that Islam has nothing to do with radical Islam and to target those in the counterterrorism community, to target Americans, and now apparently to target school districts if they say anything or they report on anything that they seem uh, to be related to, to radical Islam. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is a government that fires FBI officials for being Islamophobic, for merely giving courses to our counterterrorism personnel about the theological roots of Islamist terrorism. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, we've talked about this many times on the show, Megyn Kelly. There was an all-out war on free speech, and it is being uh, uh, carried out not just by the Obama administration, but now you have groups like the Council on American Islamic Relations, Fair. which was front and center. That is a very litigious group that sues anyone that talks about radical Islamist oh, yeah, groups they and their connections me many to terrorists. Times. And you, I know. But here's the thing. They came out immediately. They came out almost immediately after that terrorist attack in San Bernardino, parading the family member in front who is Muslim to say, this wasn't me, this isn't Islam. Right. And then you have the president of the United States who is now preaching to us what is the real Islam and what is not the real Islam. And I've been speaking about this with some of my friends, and, and this is treading very close to a violation of the Establishment Clause, where the government is not allowed to favor one version of a religion over another version. And we have our entire national security policy is based on favoring the peaceful version of Islam over the non-peaceful version, when those who have declared war against our country ascribe to the non-peaceful version of Islam. Mm -hmm. But we're not allowed to talk talk about that or we're Islamophobic. That's interesting, Brooke. And Andy McCarthy has a very interesting piece at uh, nationalreview.com uh, right now on, on this, on how there are plenty, obviously, of peaceful Muslims uh, who have assimilated into the United States and accepted American values and accept the separation of church and state. And then there is another group who believe in Sharia and who do not believe in that separation and want something very different. It's worth checking out. Brooke, great to see you. Thank you.